Okay, so I have shared a Pendulum Lab Google Sheets with you guys. So what you're going to be doing if you are at that stage is you're going to be taking your data from OneNote and you're going to be changing these three cells, B1, B C1, and D1. So you're going to be using the independent variable that actually we found that caused the pendulum to swing faster. So you got to think about which group, and there was two groups in some of the periods that were that found that the pendulum swung faster. So you're going to be changing that variable. So it might be the length of the string. So one of the groups might have five centimeter length string. Then right here might be 10 centimeters. Then you might type 25. You're going to have to go back and record that information. Okay. You're going to then put their trials in. And if you want to have the averages, you'll add those in. Okay, so I want to see that you can make a modified data table. I've got some of the information in there for you. Okay, you're going to then um, write a claim evidence reasoning paragraph. So this is a lab report. So you're going to say the question we were studying today. You'll answer that. Then you'll say we found that the pendulum swung faster when we, and then you're going to complete that sentence. We want to then use the E. What's evidence? You're going to use any of the information from the data table. So when, um, when we put it at 5 centimeters, it had this many swings. When we put it at average. When we put it at 15 centimeters, it had this many swings. So I want you to use evidence from the lab. Now you can also, I would love to see that you put the evidence from your group, showing that when you change the angle, that all three times it had an average of around this many swings. Or the mass group, when we changed the mass, we really didn't see much difference. We had about this average number of swings. So that's all the sentences I should see for evidence. And then reasoning, the R is going to come from what is the physics behind that. There were several videos you could have watched to help um, come up with the scientific reasoning that you found on those videos. So I know that you had written or had watched those videos. So once this is done, and I'm going to be putting some just answers in here just to show you. So these are not the numbers that you want to watch. I'm just putting these in here just so we have something to go by here. And let's just do five centimeters, 10 centimeters. Um, 20 centimeters. Okay, so the last thing you need to be able to do is show me that you can make a graph. And remember, you're going to highlight what you want to make a graph with. You're going to go to Insert, Chart. It'll pop up. Now, we don't want it to be on the same sheet as the data table, so we have to go to Move to Own Sheet. Now I'm ready to edit it. So we're going to be using a column chart. So if you don't have that selected on your screen, go and choose a column. We don't want a stacked column. We're just going to go to regular old column today. We're just starting basic. A lot of you also need to, under the column, if this is showing up as trials, you need to switch your rows and columns. So do that. So this is all just in the setup. So those, you're in a column. Make sure you have your um, rows and columns. We don't want trials at the bottom. So we want it just like it is right here. You're going to then go to Customize. And this is where we're going to be putting our title up here. We don't want Trial 1, Trial 2, Trial 3. We want that as the title. And the title is going to have to do with, you know, what is this experiment about? What's the scientific question? So I'm not going to give that to you. I want you guys to type that scientific question. Um, then you're going to be on the horizontal axis. What is, so you're going to change that chart title. So that's the horizontal axis down here. So the um, trials are measuring different lengths of string. Okay, so that label is there. And then I want a vertical axis title, which is going to be right here. 
And this is what we were counting. This was our dependent variable. What were we counting here? Um, so you're going to be completing that for me. Now all of this, when you are done and you're in, um, you're, you're just manipulating a sheet, do not get out of this before hitting submit. This is an assignment. So when you're um, done, after you've worked on it and you like what it looks like, you go back here and you have a nice completed paragraph with your data table, and you have a nice chart, on your screen you will need to hit submit. Okay, um, And that will submit that response to me in Canvas. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you need to watch it, stop and play as, as you go. Um, go over the steps that maybe you have been missing.